All right, let's uh, back up Veeam, back up in replication from 12 to 12.1. Also doing Veeam 1 as well, but that'll be in a different video. So just go to the Veeam's download page here, and then you can pull down your backup and replication for 12.1. Go through release notes if you need to. And uh, you can see it's quite sizable, eight gigs for that. So mount your ISO, and then we're gonna click setup. Now let's run this as admin. And I've had some problems going through this upgrade. Um, at the end of the video, there'll be a couple things I'll show you, but for now, we're gonna walk through this upgrade here. And the first thing you have to do is update Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. And for some reason, it like hangs when I try to install it from here, and it takes a while to recover. Not sure why, but it's consistent. You can see that, I have to wait for it to respond. It's also weird how it's the middle option that starts first, they have to upgrade first. I think that would be at the top. Be a top down install thing. So this is the first part here. Right, let's, the first time I did this I wasn't patient enough and you know, I had to go to task manager and uh, set up wizard. I uh, have to end the task because it wasn't responding. And then I'll do it again. Um, but this time I'll be more patient. I'll run the upgrade here and backup enterprise manager. We're going to do first. And this time I'm going to speed up this process here. It probably took a good five minutes to get moving. You see I'm speeding this up so you don't have to sit through it. All right, next we come to the agreement. Just click Accept. And then you see the backup catalog and Enterprise Manager going from 12 to 12.1. Click Next here. And no, I don't want to update my license automatically. I don't have internet access from this area. You could choose differently if you choose to. And now this is just service account. And I take the defaults here. I got an error here the first time I did this, which will be at the end, and I'll show you how I got around it. But this will go straight through, it just hangs a little bit. Sorry for a little sticker there. You're gonna see a couple of them. Um, there you go, just saying it's going to upgrade it automatically. If it sees anything that needs to be upgraded for the database, say yes. And here we go. And I'm going to speed this part up. I think this whole upgrade without all the errors, it took me about a half hour. There's nothing to really see after that, so we're gonna open up the, the setup, run the setup again as admin. And now we got Veeam backup and replication here. Now we're gonna upgrade next. Click on that, hang a bit, wait a while, fast forward this. Uh, with the license agreement again. And now we're going to back up, uh, upgrade the backup and replication server. Make sure you update remote components if you want. I, I prefer to do this during the install. I don't know why it's not automatically checked off by default. And now we're saying next. And 
updating the license automatically again. It's the same type of deal here, service account, and this time it's just, I have a SQL database for sort of data. And say next. Should pick up all the proper settings. Then you want it to upgrade automatically, yes. And I'm going to speed this process up. So I also ran into an error when I was just before I started the backup and replication upgrade. Um, it does a check and apparently it needs a lot of disk space. Uh, I had over 10 gigs, but that wasn't enough. Apparently I needed over 30. I think it was like 32 gigs or something like that. So that'll be at the end of the video as well. I'll show that as well as the local host one. When it finishes, we get the finished splash screen again, and we can verify everything by opening up uh, Backup and Replication Console. And when you first open it, it's going to update all the components that it said it was going to do. If you checked off that box that said uh, update automatically, if not, then you have to manually do it. And then you can open up the help about and you can get to 12.1. And then if we try to run the install again, it sees that it's just an install and not an upgrade anymore. So now some of the issues I came across here, just a little troubleshooting tips. Uh, the first part of the upgrade, I had an issue with connecting to the Postgres database. And I had that error, 5432 on that port. And it was because, well, my, my user wasn't in a config file that I didn't know existed. So on Veeam's site, there's a knowledge base article on it, which this is it. You basically have to add your user to the config file. And once that's done, you should be able to run through that as part of the install if you got that error. So you can look through the logs and then you can verify what your account is that it's trying to use. And another issue I got here is a disk space. I didn't have enough. You know, get this here. So hope you're aware of that before you go into it. That you need 32 gigs because I wasn't and I had a snapshot. So I had to go delete the snapshot and redo the whole thing because you can't expand the disk with a snapshot. Anyway, I hope this helps. Happy upgrades.